Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Welcome back. I am in for the new year. For the new year. That's right. This is 2023. This is my first live stream for 2023. I am up in the building. And uh, yeah, let's see if anybody's even in here yet. I don't think anyone's even in here. I need to double check and make sure this thing is actually on uh, is on public and not on uh, private or something. Let me just double check here since no one's in here yet. But uh, let's see, let's head over to my YouTube channel right quick here and uh, see if anybody, po oh wait, one person's popping through. Let's see here, yep, it shows live. All right, let's see if we get anybody else. I guess you guys can, someone can hear me, someone's out there. Maybe someone will leave me a comment, let me know that I'm not alone in the world, in the universe. <laughs> All right, a couple more people coming through. And so I went to CES, as many of you know, I posted a few photos, some videos and whatnot, some reels. And uh, and I have my, my swag bag here. So I thought, why not just kind of go through it and show you guys kind of the, the, the fun goodies that I got. Now, normally when I go to CES, um, I come back with a ton of stuff. Normally I go there and there are so many giveaways that I have to take a whole separate like duffel bag or or some sort of uh, suitcase to carry everything in. This year I went out there and I didn't really try and get as much uh, stuff. I was really more focused on sort of contacting the people that have the stuff that I really want to review and creating and reaching some other creators. And so I did that. I met some people. I met some nice stuff. And these, this right here, these are the real gold of CES the business cards of the marketing and PR people for all the companies that I want to uh, that I want to reach out to or some of the companies I want to reach out to so that I can actually review their products and get some good stuff to uh, to bring to you and to compare and to talk about uh, throughout the year. So yeah. All right. Shout out to Pedro in the building. Says, hey, Larry, shout out to you. Shout out to Mega Puff Girl in the house as well. Big ups to you. And uh, let's just go through. Let's see what we have. First of all, shout out to uh, Sansui for the great bag here. It's like this. They made like this sort of cross carry sling bag that you can use to carry your stuff while you're at the show. Well, it's very nice. But let's start off. The first thing we have in the bag here is this from, uh, it's from Invisi from Invisi, if I'm pronouncing the name right. And this is a MagFree Pro. It's a magnetic aluminum stand for the iPad Pro. And this one is for the 12.9 inch. So they do have an 11 inch one, which I kind of wish they would have given me the 11 inch one instead of the 12 inch, 12.9 inch one, because I actually already have a magnetic stand for my 12.9 inch. So I really would have liked to have had one for my 11 inch, but you know, free is free. So let's just take a quick look. I want to see what this looks like. It's a, uh, let's see if we can get this out of here. It looks like this is going to come in maybe in two parts here. So I, I guess I won't really be able to show you so much because it looks like I'll probably have to put this thing together. But um, yeah, so it looks like here we go. So you have the, you have the, uh, you have this right here. This is going to be the base down here that I'm going to have to, uh, I guess I'll have to put this in here and then screw this in somehow to get that all situated and then this will go on there and then the then the ipad will go right here and i guess oh yeah this rotates so that you can actually have this in the vertical or horizontal position so all right that's kind of nice so i guess i'll have to try that out and see uh and see how i like that in comparison to the other one that i already have and see if um if I like it any better or any worse, here are the little screws and stuff so you can get the base and everything situated and mounted just right. So, um, but this is from Invisi here. And yeah, this looks like it's gonna be, this is like it's gonna be pretty nice. So yeah, we'll have to try that out. Um, shout out to, um, let's see. Let's see, Pedro says, is it free? It's for me. <laughs> there you go, I like that. Charles Tuttle's in the house, says, what's up, Larry? Shout out to you, Charles. I see you, happy new year to everyone. All right, let's see here. We got, you know, when you go to these places like CES, there's tons of hats. If you wanted to start a hat collection, you no joke could go there and start your hat collection. They had so many different hats. This one here is from Hay Bike. Hay Bike is an, is an uh, electric, um, you know, bike manufacturer. They make e-bikes. And so, yeah, shout out to, uh, 
the hay bike. So they got that. Let's see what else we have here. Another hat. This one is from Sky, uh, Sky Platforms. So again, if you want a whole bunch of hats, you can get a whole bunch of hats. So shout out to Sky. Let's see what else we have in the bag here. This here, it looks like we have a, um, oh yeah. So CES, they, they had a thing for media and for, um, and for um, content creators, they were giving out these free t-shirts. You had to go pick it up and uh, there it is. It says, be in it, CES 2023, Las Vegas. So yeah, kind of cool. They, um, it, they were able to, they gave one out. So I was able to get one for myself and, um, and one for my, um, my co-producer that was with me this time. So there's two of them there. Um, now also, if you ever need those grocery bags so that you can take shopping with you, again, CES is the place. Everybody had bags. This is one of the ones I grabbed because I thought this is one of the nicer ones. This is from a company called Displace. They are actually making a truly wireless um, TV. And the way it works is it just sticks onto the wall and then there's batteries that go in there and you have to charge the batteries. I think, I don't know, like once a week or something like that. But um, they're to it's, it's a really true wireless experience. So, but everyone gives out these bags and I, I, some of, most of the time I just pass them by, but some of these nicer ones I grab because I can throw these in the car and take them with me when I go to the grocery store. So, all right, let's see, let's see. We have uh, my CES badge, cause you know, uh, you need that when you go in there. And if you ever go to CES, do not lose your badge. Those badges are $300 to replace. So uh, you get the first one free, but if you lose it, it's $300 to replace it. So yeah. All right, let's see here. We have a water bottle from a company called um, uh, Aventon. So Aventon is uh, another bike manufacturer, another e-bike manufacturer and they were giving out these uh, these water bottles. I don't think there's anything in it, no. But, you know, these are great, obviously, if you're out and about and you need some water, you have those, so. All right, let's see who else is in the building. We have um, Nguyen Dang says, that's awesome. All right, thank you so much, appreciate it. Nguyen Dang is in the spot. That's a new name for me. I haven't seen you in the, sp in the space before, so shout out to you. Let's see, we have Ben Swagger, diaper, middle schooler, student. Happy, hi, Larry, happy new year. Happy new year to you too, Ben. I see you in the spot. All right, let's see here. We'll go with this one. This one here is from a company called uh, Backyard League. And this is a, this is a, a baseball. It's, a, it's an electronic baseball. And you might be able to see on here, if you look on the side here, the ball is basically just to have fun. That's what it is. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus in there. It's just to have fun. And when I asked him about it, I said, well, what does it do? Because, you know, at CES, everything's high tech. And he's like, this ball is designed strictly for fun. He was like, you can throw it around. It'll keep track of how far you threw it or how fast you threw it. There is, um, you know, there is an app. So if you, you know, if you're a kid and you're alone and you want to practice your pitching, you can throw the ball. It'll, it'll track how fast it's going and all that. And you can compete with other kids around the world, around the, you know, around the neighborhood, around the country, wherever, through the app. And that way you can always sort of say, oh, somebody beat my score. You can go after it and go outside and play. But he was like, the part of the thing is it's designed to get kids out of the house, off the couch, off their devices, and to go play and have a good time. And so it is, it looks just like a... Um, it looks just like a regular baseball. And you can see here, there's a little, uh, let's see, has a little attachment right there, which you're gonna need to do something with. But um, you can see there, some other stuff came out. There's a, there's a little attachment there. I guess you need to, to hook up something. There's a little battery in here for it. And oh, here it is. So I guess this is where you, you have to go in and um, you guess you have to go in, unscrew this somehow, maybe uh, put the sensors in there, but you can see the ball is the same size as a traditional baseball. Same size, same weight, and everything. So, um, yeah. Anyways, it looks like it looks like it might be a lot of fun. So I thought, you know what? He asked me. He said, "Do you want?" He said, "Do you want one?" I said, "Yeah, sure. Why not?" So I took one, and I think I might actually hook that up. I might actually hook it up and just see it and see how this thing actually performs and try it out because. 
you know, sometimes you just need a little bit more fun. This last year, uh, probably for the last couple years, really, I haven't really focused on fun at all. I've really just been just working. I've been working a lot, just trying to work, trying to grow the channel and not really focused on having fun, which is kind of funny, funny, kind of, <laughs> kind of funny because my channel really was designed and sort of my mission when I started was just to have fun. It was kind of like, what do I feel like, you know, today I feel like, and it was always about going out and having fun doing something. So anyways, there it is. This one is a uh, backyard league and this is the gaming baseball. So, all right, let's see here. Let's see here. We have Miss Hay, uh, ND cocktail, please. Cause <laughs> happy new year. Happy new year to you too. And I love that screen name. That is fantastic. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, this one I'm looking forward to. This is from a company called Signet. And this is a 10,000 milliamp hour wireless power bank with uh, a charging dock. So you can see that right there. This is it. I think I'm actually gonna do an unboxing of this one here so we can try it out. But the way this works is this, uh, this right here is the power bank and it docks right here onto the, um, onto the uh, base right there. And you just put your phone on there and it, and it connects and wirelessly charges. But if you need to head out, so let's say you have your phone there charging and you know you're gonna be out all day. Maybe you're gonna be out taking a lot of photos, a lot of videos. Maybe you just know you're going for an overnighter at a friend's house or whatever. And you wanna take your power bank with you. You just simply pop it off of there, off of the base, take it with you. And now you have a portable power bank that goes with you. So this is really great, I think, if you're traveling because it's sort of a dual purpose device. You have your phone charger right there that you can use. So if you're staying in a hotel, plug it in, set it right there on the nightstand or wherever and have your phone charging. And when you get ready to go out for the day, pop that power bank off of it, take it with you, and now you're ready to go. So anyways, this is from Signet. And I have reviewed a power bank of theirs in the past. They are wonderful. Their power bank is actually one that I take with me when I travel. It's fantastic. So yeah. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. We have nice to nasty in the building. It says, good evening, Larry, and everyone. Shout out to you. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. Pedro said, oh, since I'm doing about, how about you? All right. I guess he's responding to other people. Oh, we have Kai to technical. What up? Shout out to you. I feel like I should get you on the channel soon so we can get together and talk tech. Maybe we can make it a regular weekly thing. We can have like a tech talk Tuesday or something. So, all right. All right. Let's see here. What else do we have in the bag? Um, ah, oh, these are very important because when you go to CES, there are a lot of people out there and Abbott Labs was passing out free COVID-19 rapid tests. And I have taken three of these to make sure that I did not get COVID and bring it home to anybody. So it doesn't stop you from getting it, just let you know if you did get it so that if I did, I didn't bring it home to anybody. So, but luckily this year, I went to CES, I got there, I didn't get sick, I didn't get the CES flu, and I didn't get COVID, thank God. So, all right, shout out to Abbott Labs for that. Let's see, what else do we have in here? This is from, let's see, CapTrek, move free and safely. I don't know what this is. Um, oh, I remember now. Yes, I remember. So this is a company, remember now. Yes, I remember. So this is a company, it's not really swag, it's just information, but um, but this is a French company called CapTrek, where you can see there what the device actually looks like. And it's sort of like a, um, it's sort of like a little computer on your, on your wrist. But the nice thing about it is you put it on your wrist and it has all kinds of, it has maps and topo stuff on there. You can control your GoPro on there, including having the screen so you can see it. This thing is really fantastic. And it's, it's, it's an all-in-one action controller and you can control drones, your camera, it has activities and stuff on there, it has GPS and maps. And I think you can actually even use it as an outdoor communicator, yes you can. So if you have multiple people, let's say you have like a group of three or four of you that are out, you're all gonna be out running around doing stuff or maybe hiking or you're on a family camping trip, you can all wear these and if somebody goes missing or gets lost in the woods or something, you can communicate with each other or even if not, you can still communicate with each other using this. So it's called CapTrack. Uh, Cap Trek, and it's a uh, it's a French company. Pretty nice. Um, they, he, he did give me a quick demo. I wasn't able to get a review unit just yet, but hopefully, 
I'll be able to get one soon. It's a startup, I believe. Um, if you when you, if you're ever at CES and you want to see some of the newest kind of fun stuff that's not like from one of the really big companies, go down. Go. It's usually at the Venetian. You go down to the uh, Eureka Park is what they call it, and that's where you're going to see all of like the startup people, all the small companies doing really kind of fun, innovative stuff. So, all right, let's see here. This is uh, this is all documentation stuff. Um, no, probably nothing that's, uh, you know, just stuff that people end up passing me on, passing on to me. So we'll set some of this stuff off to the side. Uh, more document. Oh, this is actually a company called uh, uh, Newware. Newware, they, they've sent me, uh, they've, they, uh, they gave me some stuff and, um, and they actually have a, uh, a code that you can use for CS. So if you guys ever use Newware, they, they make camera gear, you can use the code. CES 2023 by January 31st, and it will it will work for you. So, if you're looking to get some camera gear, you can check it out. I think they'll give you like 20% off or something like that. All right, let's see. Now this one, I'm kind of excited about. This is from uh, from Lexar, and Lexar, I was able to get a uh, a gaming. It's the Blaze Gaming Portable SSD drive. This is a one terabyte drive, and it's up to 2,000 megabits. Um, read in 1900 uh, write, so we can check that out right there. That is what it's going to look like. It has a little weight to it, so even if it's an SSD drive, it has a little bit of weight to it. So um, yeah, but this is a one terabyte one. This is a gaming portable SSD. So I think I'm going to try this out. I think I'll probably do an unboxing, maybe do a test and see how it performs, and run some benchmark tests and stuff on there and see how it does. So shout out to Lexar for that. And uh, they also gave me a. Uh, a uh, 512, um, a 512 uh, micro SD card. This is a, it is a V30, uh, an A2 U3 V30 card. So this is going to work and it'll be great for like GoPros, other action cameras. I can probably put this in my regular cameras too if I'm shooting like 4K video. It's not probably not fast enough for 8K, but it should be good enough for 4K. So if I'm shooting with the GoPro or something or some other action camera, it should be just fine. So and it's 512, which is fantastic because if you put that in a GoPro, you probably never have to. <laughs> you probably never have to take that card out. You could just keep on shooting forever with those things because that's a lot of storage on there. So, um, and then this is from uh, X Xbex Zbeck, I think it is Zbeck. They make um, they make uh, a and it's like a sort of like an extendable monitor. So you put it on your laptop and it gives you two extra screens on there, but they were giving out these little, uh, these little can cozies or bottle cozies. So, all right, let's see what else we have. Um, ah, these, I'm looking forward to these. So this is, um, oh no, this is something else. So this is a stretch tube, so it's a gift for you. And I'm not sure who this is from. It looks like it says from uh, Media Rom, but it says this is a stretch tube. I'm not actually sure what this is or who gave this to me. Oh, I guess it's sort of just like a thing that you can use if you're working out, I guess. Is it magnetic or something? Let's see. I think this pulls apart. Is it, does it come apart? Oh yeah, there we go. It comes apart and then I guess you stretch it. There you go. So I guess you can get some exercise and get your stretch on, so. That's kind of a cool takeaway. All these different companies, they, they, you know, some of them do fun stuff where they give you different sort of takeaways. And other ones just do, uh, you know, other ones just do sort of the basic bags and, and stuff like that. But they gave me two of these stretch tubes, so it's kind of fun if you're ever looking for um, sort of a simple way to get some light exercise in. These, these can be pretty nice there for you, so. Um, I don't really know who the brand is. It says uh, a one minute YouTube link. Maybe it is a company called uh, Medirom. Let's see, it says there is a, um, it says there is a, a link on there. If you scan the QR code, let's scan the QR code and see if something comes up. Let's see here. If it, oh, there we go. And, oh, it's gonna take me to a YouTube video, but, I don't want to watch the whole video, so let's just skip that and see if something comes up. Oh yeah, this is, I guess that is the name of the company. It's, it is Media, Media Rom Healthcare. So um, yeah, but they gave a nice little healthcare related gift. So stretching device, nice. All right. 
Let's see, Kaiju Techno says, yes, let's do that. We should, all right, we'll have to talk about that. I'll have to get that hashed out so we can make that happen there. Um, now, this is another thing, it's just a bag. If you go to CS, you will see these everywhere because apparently Nikon sponsored the whole bag thing. So they have Nikon bags everywhere. And so I grabbed one because, well, you know, I'm a camera guy, I can't resist a camera, you know, related bag. So it's just, it'll be used as a shopping bag, so. Um, let's see here, we have more, um, you know, just more sort of documentation for different products and stuff. So we'll, I'll go through all that stuff later. Um, oh. Now this here, this thing is called a Wally grip and it is a detachable wallet grip and stand. And you can see right there, this is gonna attach to your phone and then it will work as a stand, a grip, or and it's a, a stand, a wallet, a grip, and it's removable. So um, I don't really plan on using this. I think I might just give it away. There was some reason why I picked this up. I don't know, I, but anyways, yeah, I think I'll probably, um, I'll probably give this away at some point. So there's that. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. They were giving away a number of face masks. So they have the uh, KN95s that they were giving out. So I grabbed, uh, you know, I grabbed, I don't know, five or six of them there. Cause well, you always need more face masks, especially at a place like CES. I was wearing a face mask pretty much the entire time. I did take my mask off a few times. Uh, when I was filming, if I was filming, like I did my intro and outro on a couple of times and I put my mask back on. There was a time where I took a photo with, uh, with a group of uh, developers from Italy that were, that were showing me an app. So afterwards I took a photo and then posted it. So yeah, but most of the time I stayed masked up. All right, let's see here. We do have this, this looks pretty cool. This is from, um, this is the cell gel mounts and this is the pro pop. And this thing is uh, this thing is pretty cool here. If you see this, this is going to um, see if we can get that in focus there a little bit. There we go. This is going to uh, to work with all kinds of different smartphones so that you can actually get this and um, and use it as sort of a sort of has like a pop out thing so you can use it as a grip. But also, apparently, the way this works, it, it fits also with your GoPro. So if you have a GoPro, this little section right here is going to they say fit in perfectly so it works. You can mount your GoPro in all kinds of unconventional places. And the way this works is these gel, these cell gel mounts kind of stick to pretty much anything. And so, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to, um, I don't know if, let's see, do they have a, um, a cellgelmounts.com? Let me see if I can pull it up on there. And let me see if I can pull it up and show you the um, cellgelmounts.com. Let's see if I can show you quickly how it, uh, what this thing looks like and how it works. So this is one of those companies that's sort of like, you know, it's not what I usually go for, but it was kind of fun. This is what the mounts are right there. So there you can see how they are. And oops, I don't want to, I don't want to play their video, but you can see even there, the lady has the things mounted on her wall so she can just put the stuff wherever she wants to. And they'll have, they have single cell sets of gel mounts. You can have these ones like this with stronghold hooks. They have all kinds of stuff, magnetic charging stands. They have they have some really cool different uh, options there for you. So, and they're not expensive at all. You can see they're like ten bucks. So, um, yeah. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Nice and nasty says how uh, how many did uh, did the CES? How long many days did CES last? CES was uh, what? I think it was four or five days. It was. Um, it started. For the public, I believe it started on Friday, I think it was. I think it was Thursday or Friday. And then, but there's a day before that that's just for media. So if you wanna go and you wanna have time, I should've went there. I, I told myself I was gonna go earlier, but next year I think I'm gonna go earlier so I can actually go on media day so that you have time to get there and, and um, see all the coolest stuff and, and do some interviews and talk to people before the mad, crushing crowds and lots of people. That way I can see everything I wanna see. And then the rest of the time there, I can just sort of have fun looking at all the cool tech. So yeah. All right, anyways, this is from Cell Gel Mounts. Big ups to them. And uh, let's see here. They did send me another one here. This is one of the uh, the reusable phone mounting brackets there. So you can get an idea of what that's gonna look like again. So big ups to them. And let's see here, what else do we have? Oh, this is from, uh, this is from Signet. They sent me it, a, a 
a one and a half foot um, armored lightning to USB A cable. So you can see that there, that's going to be the, the lightning to uh, USB A cable. You can actually see it right there on the side, and that's that. And uh, I, I really do like their cables. I, I, I really appreciate good cables because I have a ton of cables, a bunch I need to get rid of, and a lot of them are really cheap, but I really, really appreciate the good ones. All right, let's see here. We have some, uh, some other uh, information there, just uh, brochures and stuff. Um, <laughs> this I meant to go and take back because they are handing out Rice Krispie treats outside, and if you brought the wrapper inside to the John Deere uh, booth, they would give you a free John Deere hat, except um, I kept the bag, uh, the wrapper, I just never got back to the John Deere booth to bring it to them, so, um, yeah. All right, let's see, what is this? Um, another brochure, somebody gave me this. Oh, this was from, uh, actually this was the University of, uh, I think it was the University of North Carolina that was giving these, or North Carolina State, one of the two were giving these away, which I thought was just very cool, these octopus cables. So, um, you have a micro USB, a USB-C and a lightning cable. And on this end, you can plug it in with either a USB-A cable or you can um, or you can pull this out. Let's see if I can get this thing to pull out. Let's see, where does it go? Or maybe it just pushes out. Oh, let's see, let's get this. There we go. And then you have a USB-C. So you can have a USB-C to octopus cable right here with USB-C lightning and micro USB. This, so this is fantastic. This is gonna go with me everywhere and travel with me because I always have the need for, at least right now, for lightning and USB-C. Far less micro USB, but sometimes yeah, I find that I need it. And hopefully next year, or excuse me, hopefully this year, Apple will get rid of all the lightning ports on their on their iPhones and everything will be USB-C and that would be fantastic. But this little swag uh, cable from, uh, I think it was from uh, North Carolina State. So shout out to them. All right, all right. Another Rice Krispie bag. I guess I have to throw that out. <laughs> um, just another brochure here. Oh, this thing right here, this was kind of cool. This is from, um, it says the Armored Fresh uh, almond milk cheese, and this is a uh, cube, and this is uh, blueberry flavored. So this is a, this is, it has no soy protein, no dairy, and there's 12 pieces in there. So basically you have vegan dairy-free cheese, and uh, yeah, and you get them in different flavors. So they were passing them out. I thought I would try them out and see how they are. So yeah, anyways. Um, oh, you know what? Since I forgot about Lexar, Lexar also, I was able to get from them a couple of, um, a couple of CF Express cards. Now that, these are nice. This is a nice piece of swag right here. Oops. I have a one terabyte and a two terabyte card. These are very nice because I have a Canon R5 that uses these cards and uh, these things can be a little expensive. So shout out to them on that. I plan on actually doing a review of that, of those cards so that I can, uh, I can check them out. So, all right, um, here we have, oh, this one's also from the same, uh, same school. They, uh, they were offering these, uh, these um, you know, this another octopus cable here, and I'm not exactly sure how this thing works. I think you just plug one of these in, either the USB-A or the USB-C, and then you have the other ones here that you can use, the Lightning, Micro USB, USB-C, and USB-A. So, yeah, anyways, kind of nice to have. Um, let's see here. And this is from, oh, American House Printing. This was kind of cool. This was, if I'm not mistaken, this was from a company that was doing something very cool with Braille. They had like this, um, they had like this Braille sort of e-reader writer thing. I don't know how to explain it. Super cool looking. Um, they were they were explaining it to me. There was a dude there that was a blind that was explaining to me how it works for him and how it's pretty fantastic. I can't read Braille or write Braille, so I can't really use it, but they were giving out these kind of cool tech bags um, that you can put your stuff in, and inside of it, they gave you some some stuff here, like this, um, you know, like one of these octopus cables in here, which is really nice, and uh, and a little uh, a little power brick, because, you know, people just don't have power bricks much anymore inside their stuff, so. Um, I just thought that was kind of cool to have that, and this is something that I am definitely going to use like I, I plan on taking this thing and um, I plan on taking this thing and filling it up immediately. And again, this is uh, this is from American Printing House, and you may even be able to see right there that they have Braille on there. So 
Yeah, shout out to them. All right. All right, all right. Let's see, shout out to Nano O in the house. Big ups to you. I see you in the spot. All right, let's see what else we have in the bag. We have a bunch of little knickknacks and whatnot, so let's just kind of pull some stuff out and we'll see what this is. Um, this, oh, this is a, uh, <laughs> I won this thing. I forgot, oh, this is from a, a company, I think it was called um, Miracle Pillow or Magic Pillow or something like that. It was basically a pillow that, um, that sort of inflates and deflates sort of, it, it adjusts based on your sleeping and when you're snoring, it has like, it has a, uh, I believe it's like a microphone or something that's connected with it or with the app. And when you're snoring, it makes the adjustment so that you turn and lifts your head up or down so it opens your airway so that you stop, so that you stop snoring. But anyways, they had a little thing. This was one of the giveaways they had there. And this was, oh, this was it. Motion Pillow, that's the name of the company. It was called Motion Pillow. And uh, <laughs> you may see here they have something called, it was called no, uh, Nose Metal. And they had a uh, thing where basically people were, they were saying um, snoring, that people snore so loud, it's like trying to sleep through a rock concert. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> anyways. But it seems like it's pretty cool. Anyways, it's called Motion Pillow. I might see if I can get one in. Now this thing I'm actually looking forward to again, this is from In Charge. And uh, In Charge has these little, um, these little doohickeys that are like keychains. You put this, they're magnetic, so you can put this on, let me see if I can get a little closer on that so you can see that. And this is where you would just, mag. this connects magnetically. Oops, let me get this. You could put that, pull this apart right there. And then you just put this around your keys and that your keys go through that loop right there. But you, on one end, you have a USB-A port right here. And then right there you have your USB-C so you can plug that in. It's just, it's basically a, um, a cable here. And then on this side, you have uh, your lightning port so that you always have an iPhone charging cable with you. And then again on this side, USB-C. So you can go USB-C to USB-C if you want, or if you needed to plug in, say to a phone, let's say you had to plug into your iPhone. Um, let's say you had an iPhone, you were switching over to, to Android or vice versa, or you just want to transfer some data, you can actually go from this to this part. Or if you had a, if you have a, a Android phone that works, I believe is, I think they call it like OTA or something, then you can plug in USB-C here to your iPhone and you can allow the, your, your, uh, your Android phone to plug in and charge your iPhone. But also, if you have a power bank and you want to plug in, but you don't want this long cable hanging out from your pocket or from your bag, you can simply plug in right here, the other end of your iPhone or to your USB-C port for your Android phone and you're good to go. You can charge up like that. So yeah. And again, it attaches magnetically like this and to protect the ports, there is a little cover here and you just simply, uh, you just simply put those in right there. And let's see, let's get that. Let's get that locked in. See if I have that, oops, I have that wrong way. And there you go, just like that. And this is from a company called InCharge and they have all kinds of cool stuff. I don't know if I can find them. They, they, um, they always have some fun stuff that's, uh, that's, that's available. Let me see if I can find, uh, let's see, InCharge, let's see, cables and see if they come up. There we go. Let's roll, they're called, I believe the company is called Rolling Square. And this is what it is. This is the in charge X right here. So this is, uh, they have different colors. You can get it. Oops. Let me see if I can bring you in right quick. So, uh, here we go. And let's see, no, thanks. And this is, it's from a company called rolling square.com. And this is it. The in charge X, you can see right there where they have uh, lava and black, um, and blue. I don't know if the blue is going to show up there where they have marble beige. Uh, but yeah, so you can see you can have all kinds. They say it's a Swiss army knife of cables and it will carry 100 watts there. So it's uh, it's all pretty cool there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. You can get an idea of what that looks like. So that's how it's going to look on your um, on your keychain. So now it is nice because they do have that little cover there. So you don't have to worry about it slipping off even if the magnets come loose, which they won't. But you have that there. And then you can see how you can, uh, you have all the different configurations there with it. And it's nice and small. It says the most useful key ring cable in the world. And uh, I don't know if it's the most useful in the world because somebody probably has something that's far more useful to somebody else. But 
it's probably very, very useful, especially for me. So um, I expect this is probably going to go onto my keychain. So, but there you go. You can see that it looks pretty nice. You can you can see right there. You can use that to charge your earbuds if you need to. Um, you can plug in right quick to a computer or something if you need to. Um, it's very, very tiny and it comes in a little box like that. You can get it in different colors and, and yeah. So this thing is, this thing's pretty dope. Um, but they sent one, they, they sent me home with one. So I'm going to uh, try that out uh, and test it and see what I like. Uh, see if I like it. And let's see, I don't know what's in here. This is from, oh, this one I do remember. This is from a company called Chipolo. And they gave me a nice little bag here with it. I like I like some of these bags that are like sort of like fabric material instead of like that other kind of material that they make regular grocery bags out of. But um, Chiplo, um, Chiplo makes like those tracking devices like uh, Tile. In fact, I think Chiplo came out around the same time that Tile did. Um, except Tile went like the big VC uh, major funding route and they blew up and got really big. Uh, where Chiplo was much more of like a startup Kickstarter sort of, um, you know, company. And they've had much more of a slow roll when it comes to growth. But they're still in there. They're still hanging out. And the cool thing is apparently now is that uh, Apple has opened up their system, like their AirTag system. I guess they've opened it up, the Find My system, so that other manufacturers can make devices that work with the Find My network. So now... You have you have uh, devices like this with Chiplo, and let me see if I can open one of these up to show you. Um, I don't know. If, let me see if I can get this out. But let's see here. I don't know if this will. Oop. Let me see. But there we go. So there you go. That that's that's what a Chiplo is going to look like. As you can see, it looks similar to say an AirTag, and you're gonna be able to track your stuff. So you can put this on a keychain or put it in a wallet or whatever, and you'll be able to uh, take it with you. And then you'll be able to actually connect these to the uh, to the Find My system with uh, if you have an Apple uh, if you have an Apple device. That way, you can always uh, track your stuff. So it works very very similar to an AirTag. So um, and they also make one here for uh, let's see what's to say, I'm not sure if this is a different color, but they make one for your wallet as well. And yep, this is going to be a, this is gonna be a the same thing, except this one is going to be yellow, as we can see there. So, um, so we may have to try these out. And, uh, and not may, I am going to try these ones. I'm kind of excited for this. And then you have this one here, which is called the Chiplo Card Spot. And this one here is going to work um, it's about the same size as a credit card and you can see here that you can put this in your wallet. You can see how that's about the same size as a credit card. It's very thin. You can slip that right into your wallet. That way, if you ever lose your wallet, you can track it and, and, uh, and figure out how to get it back. Now it also says you can recycle and renew. So if these, I believe these have about, I think they said about 30 months of battery life in these ones. And if after the battery goes dead, you can then send it in and get 50% off a new one. Whereas the uh, the keychain ones actually have a replaceable battery. So once the batteries go dead on those, you can simply go ahead and swap the batteries out and, and keep on going. So, um, but yeah, this one's called the, the card spot. They call it, the color is almost black. And, um, and I'm looking forward to actually trying this. It says card finder as thin as it gets. So it says play sounds. Sometimes things just hide nearby with a very loud uh, sound. You can find them in no time. It says locate your items on a map using the powerful, uh, using the power of the vast find my network. So, and let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can show you right quick with, uh, let me see if I can just pull up, uh, chip low right quick and see uh let's see if that's gonna be there we go all right let me bring open their website and there we have it that is chip low right there you can see some of their products and you can see like they have card specials uh, i mean valentine specials you can get like one uh two of the ones and one of the cards so that you can put stuff in there um and you can get an idea of what the stuff is going to look like so you never have to worry about losing your products and again these are going to work on the Find My Network. So once you have them set up, 
you'll be able to use your iPhone and, uh, and find it and, um, and be on that network. So it says you have a uh, louder sound so you can find your stuff, longer batteries is up to two years of finding power, replaceable battery, water resistant. So all that good stuff on there. So yeah. Anyways, there you go. It says enjoy Chiplo, all the Chiplo features for free. So yeah. Anyways, that looks pretty cool. You can buy, you can buy different bundles. You can see there, they have all kinds of different products for the Chiplo One, the card, they have the Chiplo Bundle, the Chiplo Spot Bundle, the Chiplo uh, Card Spot, and the Chiplo One Spot. So this one is gonna work, the, the Chiplo One and the Chiplo Card and the Chiplo Bundle are all gonna work with the Chiplo app. But if you get the Chiplo One Spot and the Chiplo Card Spot or the Chiplo Spot Bundle, these are all gonna work with the Find My app. These are the ones I would have to say would I would recommend because they're gonna have the most uh, the most expansive network if you lose something because a lot of people are on that Find My uh, network. Whereas these, it would have to be somebody else who's also on the Chiplo, um, somebody who's also has who's on that Chiplo network would have to do that. But otherwise, you can find you can use it here with one of these. So yeah, all right. Let's see here. Shout out to Gregorio, sees in the building, says hello everyone. Shout out to you. All right, let's see what else we have. So that's from Chiplo, they sent me a few things. I'm gonna try those out. They gave me a nice catalog, a nice bag. So we will, uh, we will have to test those out. I think we're almost through here. We just have a few more things. Let's see, let's pull everything out. Let's see what we have. Let's get everything out of the bag. And uh, let's see here. And again, shout out to Sansui for the nice, uh, the nice big bag there. And um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is just a. <laughs> I think that was just a bag with with the uh, with the receipt. I bought a hoodie when I was out there because, well, I ran out of clean clothes, so I needed something to wear. So um, these are just more uh, some more business cards and stuff, and uh, you know, pin. Always, you know, pins are nice to have. Um, Lexar, also another nice little thing, a little keychain um, lens cleaning cloth. So this is nice. If you're out shooting, you have your lens cleaning cloth that you can always have with you on your keychain. I used to carry one of these all the time. I can't tell you how many times this thing, something like this has saved my bacon, especially when I was shooting uh, a lot of 360 stuff because if you get any dust on your 360 lens, it just ruins your photos. So yeah, all right. Uh, a Twix. And another Twix shout out. Somebody actually handed me some candy. They were like, here, you look like you might be low on blood sugar, you're dragging. And I was like, oh, thank God. So they handed me a bunch of it. I ate a couple of them and I was good. So, uh, but yes, you often, when you're at CES, you're walking so much that you drag sometimes a lot. And I think I walked, every day I was there, I think I walked probably about a half marathon. I think a couple of days I walked around 15 miles, 13, 15 miles. A couple of days, I think I walked 10, 12 miles. So yeah. Uh, somebody also gave me some marbles. I don't remember why, but uh, I think it had something to do with they. Somebody asked me, "Did you see Squid Game?" And I said, "Yeah." They said, "Oh, these are the Squid Game marbles." <laughs> so, oh gosh, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, there was that. A um, couple of business cards here. I guess I'll put those over there in the other stack. And last but not least, we have um, uh, Signet gave me a two meter or six foot USB C to USB C cable there. And so we can check that out. This is going to be very, very nice. Um, we can see that. And it says this is gonna work with for turbocharging, carries uh, five amps, 100 watts, uh, fast data speed, uh, certified for 20K, bin cycles, and a five-year warranty. So um, let me show you Signet right quick. Let me see if I can find their, uh, their website. Because um, they have some, some really cool stuff. And I love their power banks. I am a I am a big fan of their portable power. And here we go. We can check that out. Let me just uh, let me get that out of there. But you can see they have all kinds of stuff. They have power banks. They have chargers. They have cables. They have wireless charging. They have cases. They have in-car tech ring lights and accessories. They have all kinds of good stuff. So if you want a uh, if you want a wireless charger in your car, you can do that. You can have uh, power banks. This one right here. This power bank that they show this this uh, connected to this this is like the one that I have and let me see if I can uh, let me see if I can click on it and uh, let's see it doesn't seem to be doing anything let me see let me just see if I can go into their power bank section and nothing seems to be clicking very odd huh 
All right, let me try. Let me just refresh it. Maybe that's my uh, maybe that's my computer. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's try their power banks and let's try. Let's see. Let's go twenty thousand and above. I think mine's actually twenty thousand. Oops. Let's see. It says nothing there. So let me click this and let me go ten thousand to twenty thousand and huh? It's not showing up any. It's not showing anything on there. Let me just click their power banks there. And there we go. Now we see some coming up. Now the one that I actually have, I'm not actually seeing on here. It's not this one, but it, it's not dissimilar to this one, but it is not actually this one here. Mine is 20,000 milliamps. It looks a little different than this one, but I think mine is just a little bit older. This one I think is just an updated uh, design there. So, but this thing is nice. The one that I have is nice because it has two USB-C ports, USB-A, and I think it has like a micro USB port on there as well. And it does have, uh, it has a hundred watt USB-C power delivery and 20,000 milliamp. Uh, so it, it really allows me to charge up a lot of devices at once. And I can actually charge um, the device and I can charge the power bank and devices at the same time, which is very important to me because sometimes um, when I'm traveling, what I'll do is I will go and, um, I will go and plug in my power bank and plug other things into that and just leave them overnight. So it's nice that I have all my devices charged and then have my power bank charged at the same time. So, um, oh wow, it looks like, it looks like someone sent me. Oh, shout out to Gregorio, man. Thank you so much. He sent me a $20 cash app. He said, he said for whatever. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Shout out to Gregorio in the buildings. Thank you so much. And uh, this was pretty much it. This was pretty, oh, there was one of the last thing. There's a company called uh, Stag. They sent me a, they gave me a, um, a 64 gig, um, you know, flash drive that has their press kit on here. But the, you know, the gentleman was saying, hey, we have our catalog and our press kit on there. He said, but it's also 64 gigs. So it's actually useful because sometimes, you know, you get these uh, flash drives that are like four gigs, eight gigs. They're not really good for much because you're not gonna use it for, you know, if that's all you have. But with 64 gigs, that's enough. You can use it for stuff. You can transfer data back and forth. You can put some movies on here if you want to. It's pretty good. So shout out to Stag on there. And uh, if I'm, they make uh, they make power stations. That company makes power stations. So if you see those ones where you can plug in like an AC thing, so if your power goes out, you need to like power your refrigerator for a few hours or get your TV going or radio, whatever. It's uh, it's one of those sort of power stations. So yeah. All right, y'all. Well, that is it. That is that was my swag bag from CES. Lots and lots of goodies in there. Um, I do have some products that, uh, that were here when I got back that were uh, waiting at my doorstep. So um, I, do have a, I do have a haul video I need to do. I think I'll probably do it before, um, probably before Friday. I was thinking about doing it Friday, but I think I'm gonna do it, I might do it uh, tomorrow, maybe later on today, I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. And uh, it should be fun. I know there's something in there that, that's going to be very, very fun. And uh, I think a lot of people will enjoy seeing it. So we'll have to check that out when we get to it. But that is my CES 2020, uh, 2023 swag bag. So, yeah. All right. If anybody has any questions out there, shoot them, shoot them over to me right away. I'm happy to answer any questions. And let me see. I know some people send some stuff via uh, different platforms. So let me see if anything has come through on here on my phone and see if what we have. So I've been trying to send some stuff over. I've been trying to send stuff, uh, you know, like do little shorts and stuff, my reels and whatnot, so that you guys can check them out. I do have a CES highlight video that I'll be putting out probably today or tomorrow. So if you guys wanna see some of the other things that I saw at CES, I'll just, I, I just grabbed them and threw some quick clips together to make a quick uh, highlight video. And uh, cause it's a lot, that show, I mean, there's, it's a lot. I mean, it's, it's more than one person can possibly experience in a few days because there's just that much stuff. So, yeah. All right, y'all. I'm out. Thank you so much. Shout out to Gregorio for the, uh, for the Cash App. I appreciate it. Shout out to everybody else who has come through. And I'll be back probably tomorrow or whenever I feel like getting this, uh, this haul video in. And, uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed seeing what uh, some of the stuff I came through or came home with from CES. 
and you'll see some of the other stuff that I, uh, I'm getting as the weeks go on because there is a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming in. Some stuff is already here, some stuff is already on, is coming, it's already on the way. Some stuff, I'm gonna have to reach out again because apparently uh, I got hit by some porch pirates while I was gone. So there's some things that were, uh, that came in that disappeared. So I'm gonna have to reach out to a few companies and see if they can send some stuff again. So, but all right, y'all, it's been real. Thank you so much, and I am Larry with Today I Feel Like, and until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.